Hi guys, in this episode we will build this test transmitter for the STM32 version of my micro RC transmitter. So let's get started. First we need an infrared board. So I have designed this one in Eagle. You can download it on my GitHub. For soldering you need small fingers, so this is the ideal job for the DIY guy junior. As you can see he is already a professional in soldering. Then I have designed this prototype board in Eagle. The yellow lines are very helpful for the wiring. Here you can see the wiring in progress. Now we are ready for the first display test. Will the magic blue smoke escape? Or will it work? Let's see. So now let's plug in the battery pack. Okay, seems to work just fine. Nice. The radio model connector is now also populated and we are ready to test the radio. So let's start the micro RC transmitter in tester mode. Yes, looks like we have a signal. Fine. So now it's time to add the remaining wires, buttons and LEDs. The next thing we need is a housing. So let's do some woodwork. It's not pretty, but it will do the job for this test transmitter. Now we need to drill the holes for the LEDs and for the buttons. Now let's see if the buttons fit inside the holes. Ok. Now we want to do a full function test with all the electronics hooked up. This is the radio data connector. The radio power connector. Now we want to plug in the radio amplifier board. Next is the STM32 CPU board. 
then the OLED display and the 5 volt supply cable. Okay, now will it explode this time? Let's switch it on. Maybe I should start the micro RCDC in test mode. Now we have a radio connection. Fine. The infrared amplifier board is also alive. Now let's reboot the new transmitter into the tester mode and the old one into the transmitter mode. As you can see we also have a radio connection. The display response of the new transmitter is much better. The POM game also works. Okay, so the next step will be to mount the board inside the housing. So before we proceed, let's do a quick function test. It seems to work okay. Now I have wired the internal battery compartment. The next step is to attach the radio model. Now let's insert some AA batteries. The next job to do is to wire the joysticks. The final step is to attach the wooden side panels. Will it work?
Looks like those big joysticks are much better than the tiny ones in the old micro RC transmitter. But there is a problem. Not the entire range of the joysticks is used. But this can easily be fixed in the software. As you can see, it also works the other way around. Now let's do a first test with a car. The size comparison between this car and this transmitter is a little bit hilarious. And yes, of course we want to test the Pong game. It's very fast now. Now let's have a look inside. The STN32 model, the radio model and the infrared model. Now let's test the infrared mode. Works in Lego mode. And the Meccano mode. Works. Does not work. Works. As I said, the joystick range has to be fixed in software. So let's do that. The STM32 model is now reprogrammed and we are ready to put it back in place. Oops, the model is plugged in with an offset of one row. Of course we also need the OLED display. Will the joystick range be ok now? Looks like the entire joystick range is now used. Fine. And the Meccano infrared also works fine now. Time for a little test drive. 
as you can see, the radio works fine. Will the infrared also work? If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Bye!